What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to flash the Android 12 developer preview on this particular device. And yes, I'm just gonna show you but I would say I won't recommend flashing this ROM as of right now. Yes, this is not a GSI, this is a ported ROM for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And of course, this is a developer preview, so still not at all stable. And there are, as you can see, a lot of warnings. And you can see the build date over here is 25th February 2021. It says I won't take any responsibility for your brick device or something. So be careful before flashing. I would say if you have a spare Redmi Note 5 Pro or something, only then you can try it. Otherwise, if it's uh, like if it's the only device that you own, I would not recommend flashing this particular build over here because it might break a lot of things. So do not even try. This is just to show you guys how it's working as of right now. And of course, there is the download link. This is a playing link, of course. And over there, while downloading the like ROM itself, I was having some problems. So I had to use the Google Drive link. Otherwise, I could not simply download it. So yeah, this is the updated link, which says 24th February 2021, of course, over there on the website. There are some things mentioned, which are you must be decrypted. Otherwise, you might get problems and there is F2FS file system needed over here and it says backup your internal storage to PC for safety and stuff and in the change logs as you can see SD card reading or mounting is disabled by default over here I guess and there is the added ringtone and Bluetooth fix over here and inside bugs you can see there is the audio output while listening to voice message in WhatsApp or Telegram sometimes affecting calls it says so yeah voice could be broken or mic could be broken and there's the native screen recorder bug over here and there is the ok google bug too so that's it and i have downloaded the file let me actually show you this is the file pixel 3a developer over here it says this does not show even on the website that it's for wired or redmi note 5 pro but yes this is the build over here you can see the build name pixel 3a developer preview 1 version 1.1 zip so that's what it says and it's about 1.4 gb i guess but it shows 1.52 gb for some reason over here but it's about 1.41 or 42 GB. Right now, let me just reboot to recovery, but by the way, I'm on the stick OS and I have did a previous video on this. If you haven't seen card right there, let me just reboot to recovery. And here, of course, I'm gonna be using the Orange Fox Recovery R11, which you can get from the description box below too. So we have successfully booted into the Orange Fox Recovery. And as you can see, I have decrypted storage. So I think it might work for me. So let me just try, let's go to wipe. Let's wipe these Dalby cache system, vendor and data, all these five things and swipe to wipe. So the wiping stuff is done right now. Let's go home. Now let's go to the files and let's go to the download folder and select the file itself. And I have selected the reboot after installation. So it will reboot automatically after installing. So let's just go ahead and flash it. But again, if you are flashing this, Make sure you have a spare device or spare Redmi Note 5 Pro because it might break some stuff on your device or it might even break your system that you need to like fast boot flash MIUI or something. So yeah, be careful and only flash it on your own risk. And as you can see, while it's flashing, as you can see there, it says Android version 12. So I'm actually quite excited to see this and the security patch build date, everything is mentioned over here. The security patch is 5th of February 2020, it says. For some reason i don't know why right now it shows installing pixel 3a oem port extracting system and extracting vendor and i guess it's done so right now it's rebooting let's wait for the time being and oof that animation though i mean the splash image looks cool it says powered by nephron port hub Okay, so this is pretty bright. Let me actually decrease the ISO of my camera so that you guys can see it better, I guess. Let me actually zoom in so that you guys can see better. So this is how it looks. It shows the Google logo and it's loading. Okay, so as you can see, it shows Android developer preview at the beginning over here. So you have to just tap OK, I guess. And then you have to select the language. I'll go with English United States as usual. Let's hit start. Now we have to connect to Wi-Fi, so let's try. Here it shows allow data transfer and stuff. So I'll just tap allow and I'll try to restore my old app data backup. Let's try if that works. So it's time to set up the Fingerbit scanner. So let me just try if that works. 
so yes as you are noticing this is how the fingerprint scanner is working and it's right now setting up i am just tapping over on the back let's continue okay so i had to tap leave and get reminder because it's crashing the google kind of voice assistant setup i guess and by the way this is how the volume panel is looking like as you are noticing you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here it has this kind of vanilla color i would say over here and it has the live caption mode too over here but you cannot really expand the volume panel from here i guess all right so we are into the home screen and this is how it looks like and it has the dark theme enabled right now and this is how the notification panel is looking like let me show you by disabling the dark theme i hope you guys can see it better with disabling the dark theme right now hopefully everything will be like pretty good and pretty visible i guess and again this is how it looks like it's just showing completing the setup because i'm restoring the google app data backup again and it shows preparing for setup for pixel setup kind of thing and here is how the quick setting panel looks like let me edit and like try to find some things over here it has this android dev kind of thing over here and we have airplane mode invert colors and dump system ui heap or something reduce bright colors over here so these are the toggles that you get let me actually do this okay so this is just to like get rid of eye strain or something i guess so that's it and there is the screen recorder but there is the screen recorder bug mentioned over there let's just jump into the settings this is how the settings panel looks like looks very very cool i would say and right now on the top of the settings there is the finish setting up pixel over here it shows and there is your like profile whichever you have signed in with then if you scroll down we have the network and internet connected devices apps notification battery etc i'll show you each and every one of them later down the line but let me first jump into the about phone section so this is how the android version section looks like and it shows android version s let's just try okay so it still shows android 11 for some reason i don't know why what the hell yes it could be based on android 12 but the logo is still of android 11 because there is no logo of android 12 yet i guess it could be that or i could be totally wrong let me know in the comments what do you guys think over here but yes the android version shows as s over here as you are noticing and the security patch here it shows february 5th 2021 then the stock kernel is perf kernel over here and if i go into the system panel we have a system update or two so that's great again i am not really sure if that will work or this updater will work or not and here in the gesture settings these are all the gestures that you get we have also the power menu let's just quickly look at the power menu okay so it still looks like android 11 kind of similar i am kind of confused that if it's actually a android 12 beta or just looks like android 12 something like that based on android 11 i am not really sure here we have the double tap to check phone over here so that's great and we have the system navigation gestures so two button three button navigation still is there and there is the gesture kind of settings let me go back we have the quickly open camera swipe for notification and we have swipe for fingerprint notification or something like swipe fingerprint for notification it won't work because the hardware it needs i guess is not there for the redmi note 5 pro there's a one-handed mode too i'm not really sure how to use that feature but we'll try those later we have the default keyboard as gboard okay so that looked weird here let me just scroll down we have the notification settings let's just look at it okay so we have the notification history and stuff so that's great and here in the network settings let's see okay so this is how it looks how it looks like it looks same i would say from android 11 when you get inside each settings let me go into the battery settings this is how it looks like we have the battery percentage enabling option and you can see the full battery usage i guess by tapping on three dots yes that's how you can see it let me go back we have the sound and vibration here we have the similar kind of look over here but the background color is a little bit different i would say and there is the touch sound touch vibration etc no no swipe to a screenshot as of right now but i guess you can take a screenshot okay so from the recent panel again you can take a screenshot no issues right now let me just jump into the display settings here we have brightness level adaptive or auto brightness then lock screen option is there then screen timeout option is there inside dark theme let me actually enable the dark theme and go inside the dark theme so this is how it looks like over here and yeah looks pretty cool i would say and these animations are there as you can see if i am doing this just notice the display icon over there 
okay so i went too much to the bottom as you can see right now these animations looks pretty cool i would say let me just disable the dark theme and we have the font size display size etc night light you can enable let's try it okay so it's working actually the colors are set to boosted by default and if you scroll down we have the double tap to wake we'll try those later on the double tap to wake is actually not working for me as you can see double tap to wake is just not working and we also have the styles and wallpapers let's just jump into wallpapers and this is the default wallpaper that we have let's just select this one inside security we only have this pixel imprint we do not have any face unlock or something as you can see this is pixel launcher present by default over here and there is the suggestions disabling option i guess so you can disable these suggestions over here i'll just disable that right away and we have this swipe to access google app or the google's discover page i guess so yeah this is a pixel launcher and to the left again we have the google's discover page swiping up gets you to the app drawer pretty fine and swiping down gets you to the quick settings or the notification panel but this background colors looks really really beautiful it adapts to some kind of like a background color over here i would say depending on your wallpaper or something so in terms of looks i would say it is very cool and very different and beautiful over here it adapts to the colors in the background as you're noticing looks cool here are the benchmarks for this particular build let's just try to actually see if the safety net passes no the cts profile match fails let's check it again yes still the cts profile match fails but banking apps might actually work over here i'm not really sure but yeah this the cts profile match only fails but other than that the basic integrity and the response signature verification says success so yeah banking apps might work but i'm not really sure so as you are noticing the ir blaster is actually working so no issues so far with the ir blaster as you are noticing it's working super fine and you can switch between apps just like this as you are noticing still so that's great Let's try some more things like the split screen and stuff. Let's see if those work. So yeah, the split screen is actually working as you are noticing. No issues so far with the split screen. And also as there is no stock camera, we can try this open camera app to see if that works. Let's try. Okay, so yeah, with open camera, as you can see, the camera is working fine. No issues. Let me try with the front camera. And yeah, the front camera too is working as you are noticing and you can take pictures, I guess. So, so yeah, it takes basic pictures with the open camera, of course, but the camera is actually working and that's great to see. As you can see, I just took this picture again with the rear camera and it's working flawlessly. YouTube advanced is present by default over here. Let's try to see if the speakers are working. There is not much of So yeah. The speakers are working over here no issues with the uh, speakers i guess so playing back videos and stuff is fine i'm noticing the ui is a little bit laggy which is supposed to happen i guess because this is a developer preview and as you can see scrolling is not the smoothest experience over here but in the app drawer it's fine i guess as you can see it's fine but whenever i'm pulling down the notification panel i feel it's a lot more like jittery in my opinion and right now let me just try to show you guys the fingerprint scanner speed over here i have locked the device and here if i tap the fingerprint scanner as you can see it unlocks let me try it again and as you can see even though there is some kind of flickering just notice whenever i'm locking the power button i mean with the power button as you just noticed again and it unlocked also the torch is working totally no issues whatsoever with the torch the lock screen looks really really different and only in the lock screen i feel like it's android 12 as you can see it is it has a completely different look let me try to unlock and if i like try to tap the fingerprint scanner with a finger which i do not have registered as you can see it shows this kind of like the always on display kind of thing in the dark so in my opinion it is still a beta version and as you can see whenever i'm doing this right now it's showing some kind of weird like things over here looks a little bit weird glitches all over the ui but still there you go there you have the android 12 developer preview for the redmi note 5 pro let me know in the comments what you guys think give this video a thumbs up if you liked it share this video with your friends if you feel like 
and please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet and please hit the upload button if you want to support the channel and support my work if you want to see more and more contents on custom roms on devices like redmi note 5 pro k20 pro redmi note 7 pro and etc upcoming devices that's been it guys this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now